Hello, this is Bern, and on today's episode, I'm going to be sharing with you one thing you can do that will simultaneously attract higher caliber men into your life, inspire them to commit to you, and push away those time wasters that have no idea what they want in the future or who just want to waste your time. If you're interested in learning what this is, well, stick around because I'm going to be revealing it on my episode today. Hello, this is Vern. Welcome to your great life tv.com, a space where I share with ambitious, conscious, heart centered, and successful women how you can create the relationship of your dreams and attract the kind of man that you want without the need for gimmicks or manipulation and as a direct result of stepping in the most alive and the most feminine version of you. Now, I'll describe to you right now the problem that I see in terms of women getting the level of commitment that they want. Three different problems, one problem in three parts. Part number one would be where lots of women dating today, regardless of how awesome they are, don't have clearly defined standards for how they show up with men, how men should show up with them, how long it takes them before they stop dating other guys and become exclusive, how soon they have sex with that man, how they connect with him or don't connect with him and wait if the guy doesn't call them in two or three or four days. So because there's a lack of definition in the standards that lots of women have, they typically tend to attract the kind of guys who are doing the absolute least possible to create a connection with them. And that's a problem because you want to create a connection with a high caliber guy then you want to have standards that attract that kind of man. And logic would have you think that if you have easier standards to, to meet, that you have more options. Yes, you have more options, but not necessarily the right options for you. So part B of this problem would be where someone does have, a woman decides to have clear standards for how she wants guys to treat her, how she wants guys to show up in connection with her. The problem in this part of the problem would be where you have high standards but are not showing up with a level of openness or vulnerability or aliveness or feminine magic that would make the kind of guy that you want a resonant match for you. So again, it doesn't happen. Third part of the problem would be if you have high standards and you show up awesomely, but when the rubber meets the road, meaning when the guy connects with you who you feel strong chemistry with or for, then you lower your standards for that one guy. It's like you can uphold them for guys that you don't feel super interested in, but if a guy shows up with a strong sense of chemistry towards you, he may not even be an awesome guy, but when the chemistry is pretty powerful, you might forget your own standards, so lower them for him and end up not having the right kind of connection or the wrong kind of guy is the one who connects with you. So if I were to share with you right now, my dear, one thing you can do that will significantly and for the rest of your life change your ability to get what you want. In addition, this is a given that you're showing up as an awesome woman. It would be to clearly define, specifically define, the kind of standards that you want to step into in relationships and dating. Because if your high standards show up and your awesome person shows up, then you will simultaneously attract the right kind of man into your life and push away the guy who is a time waster. I'll give you two different scenarios so you can clearly understand why this is true and why this is the case. So scenario number one is where you decide to raise your standards for how you show up and also for what you expect when men show up with you. If you raise your standards and guy A, a guy, let's call him a low quality partner, low quality partner because he doesn't have a clear vision for his life, he doesn't want long-term commitment with you, he's simply there to have fun, maybe wants to have sex with you but not necessarily show up at the level that he needs to to create the safety for you to actually enjoy the experience, right? So that would be a low quality partner. Imagine that you raise your standards and you're clear as to what you need to have happen before you create a deep connection with that man. That guy is not gonna be able to do it he's going to self-disqualify himself because he won't be able to show up at the level that you need to, so it's a win-win, right? You stop wasting time with a guy who doesn't have the long-term intentions of being a lifelong partner with you. Imagine that you have high standards, now with a high-quality partner. Different guy, a guy who wants shared vision, he wants to show up strong for you, he's there to serve, not just to receive, but also to serve. He wants a long-term potential and maybe even a family with you. That type of guy, you show up with high standards, guess what's gonna happen? 
by definition, if you have high standards, he's going to have to work harder to create the type of connection that you want and to earn your heart. And if that's the case, as he works harder, he's going to value you more than if he just any idiot can actually show up and, and, and win the jackpot, right? So I'm not saying that you should purposefully make it harder for him. I'm saying that if you show up with high standards, that by definition will cause him to work and invest more emotionally before he gets a chance to create the connection that he's seeking. So low quality guy, self disqualifies himself, high quality guy, now is going to place you a couple of notches up in his book. Why? Because if you have high integrity and show up with high value, that make, if he can win your heart, that makes him a more unique individual. That makes him a higher quality guy. Because he, in his, the back of his mind, he's thinking, well, no idiot could have won this lottery. It took an integrity filled man to show up at the level where she actually says, yes, you're the right fit for me. So he values you more. He's willing to invest. Why? Because now you're the woman he can introduce to his mom, to his family, and be proud to walk around through the streets of his city knowing like, yes, I earned this. Now, let's have a different scenario in place. Imagine that you, have a, you lower your standards. And what does that mean? That you say, well, I know that I should wait longer to have sex with that guy, but screw it, I'm gonna do it. Or I know that I don't know this guy well enough, but he wants to be exclusive with me and I don't wanna lose him, so I'm gonna say yes, even though I don't really know him. So, and that happens. Or imagine that the guy is not showing up for you, is kind of hot and cold, and you really feel strong connection with him, so instead of waiting for him to show up again as a man, you say, well, I'm afraid he's gonna forget about me. So you call him or text him and say, hey, where are you? Why haven't you called me? If you lower your standards, guess what's gonna happen? Low quality partner is gonna be able to step up to those low quality standards and guess what happens then? You create a strong connection with a guy who's an absolute fucking waste of your time because he doesn't want the same things you want. Now, imagine you do the same thing with a high quality partner, you lower your standards. All of a sudden, instead of you raising up a few notches in his book, you lower a few notches in his book. And when you lower a few notches in his book, it's either gonna take a lot longer for him to convince himself that you're gonna be the one for him long term, or he's gonna say, you know what, it's not for me. I want someone who has higher value that I can share my life with. So I know it doesn't sound, I know this seems counterintuitive. Why? Because typically logic would have you think that if you have high standards that no one is gonna want you. No. Low quality guys will not want you. <laughs> high quality guys, so long as you're showing up with strength and openness, will want you more. Hope this is helpful, useful, and insightful to you in some way. If it is, I'm gonna ask you to do three things, my dear. Number one, click like or thumbs up on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel, hit the little bell if you wanna be notified of new episodes. Thing number three, if you want to learn how to step into the kind of relationship that I'm talking about right now, uh, I've created a masterclass that's free. All you do is go to the first link on the description of this video, click on that link, enter your name and email, and you'll be redirected to a page where you can start watching that right away. Now, if you're saying or thinking to yourself, Burn, this sounds easier said than done, because it is easier said than done, and I want real hand-holding, accountability, I want strategy, I want a customized plan and support to get what I want without having to waste the next five years of my life in trial and error hell, then on the second link, of the description of this video. You'll find a way to connect with me where you can apply. If I feel I can help you, my assistant will reach out, set up a time to connect, and if we hit it off and we feel we can work with each other, I'll invite you to get some help long-term. Thank you so much for connecting with me, and as always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious and a high-value life.